In this video, we're going to be solving equations where we have a pair of brackets to expand. So when we're expanding brackets, it's all about multiplying. So this 3 before this first pair of brackets. Everything inside that bracket has to get multiplied by 3. So we end up with 3x plus 15 equals 21. And then from there, we solve the equation as we normally would. We get rid of that plus 15 first. As it's furthest away, it happens after the multiply by 3, technically. 3x on the left, 6 on the right. And then we can divide both sides by 3 in order to get rid of that 3 that's with the x. And we'll be left with x equals 2. Now, there is another way of doing this question I'm going to show you. When you start off with, and it only works in particular when you have one that looks like this, if you have just a single pair of brackets and a single value on the outside, you could technically just decide to divide both sides by 3. So let me just kind of set this up. If we decided we were going to divide the left-hand side by 3 and divide the right-hand side by 3, then what would happen is that this 3 would disappear, leaving you with x plus 5, basically just the bracket. And then the right-hand side, the 21, would become 7. And then from there, you could take away 5 from both sides and end up with x equals 2 two valid options and this would also work for that one that I'm circling here but it wouldn't technically work or it certainly won't work nicely with any of the following ones as soon as you got one more than one pair of brackets or you're dividing by something that ends up with a decimal like 17 over 5 or 12 over 5 then it's preferable to just break out the brackets all right so that's exactly what I'm going to do in the second one 7 times x and 7 times minus 2 which will give us 7x and a minus 14 equals 56 then we're going to add 14 to both sides and then divide by 7. First of all, we're going to get 7x equals 70 and then divide both sides by 7. And then with x equals 10. For the next one, break out the brackets again. 5 times 3x will give us 15x. 5 times a negative 4 will give us minus 20. We still have a plus 17 here and that equals 12. We can simplify the left-hand side before we do some rearranging. So we have this minus 20 plus 17. So if we simplify that, that gives us a negative 3. Then we can rearrange. So we're going to add 3 to make the minus 3 disappear. And that will give us 15x equals 15, which after we divide both sides by 15, x will equal 1. Next one break out the brackets again. This time we've got to be careful because that's a minus 6 that's before our bracket. So minus 6 times x will give us a minus 6x and a minus 6 times 3 will give us a minus 18. Now I didn't forget about that 37 but it was just it's technically separate from that bracket. So my first focus was breaking out the brackets and then we could just fill in everything else afterwards. So we have this 37 at the beginning and we have this equals 7. Then we can simplify here. We have 37 take away 18, so we can go ahead and uh, do that just now. So we end up with 19. Minus 6x hasn't changed, so we just write that in there. That equals 7. Then a little bit of rearranging. Anytime we have a negative x term, we want to really get rid of that so that it'll pop up on the other side positive. So if we add 6x, that will make it disappear. Do the same with the other side. You get 19 on the left, 7 plus 6x on the right. We're going to take away 7 from both sides to get rid of that 7, giving us 12 equals 6x. And then we're going to divide both sides by 6 to get rid of that 6 that's with the x. And our solution will be 2 equals x. The next one, we have two pairs of brackets to expand. It doesn't really matter which order you do them in. We can do them all in, in the first line. So we can do 4 times 3 for 12, 4 times 2x for a plus 8x. A minus 5 times x gives us a minus 5x. And then a minus 5 times a minus 7 will give us a positive 35. And then that equals 53. A bit of simplifying on the left-hand side. It doesn't matter whether or not you do the numbers or letters first. My eyes are drawn to the fact that we have 8x take away 5x. So we'll end up with 3x. And we then have 12 plus 35. So we get 47. That equals 53. Then I'm going to take away 47 from both sides. So I end up with 3x equals 6. And then we're going to divide both sides by 3. Giving us x equals 2. Oh. Here we go. 
Tristan.